Hey guys, it's me, it's me. Welcome to part 9, 10, something over the long lot. So it's a Let's Play The Sims 3 Perfect Genetics Challenge. So, um, as you can see, Iris gave birth to the baby, but there's a little twist. We had twin girls, yes. So I did not give either of them flower names. I named them Fawn and Dawn because I was like, oh snap, twins. Didn't have names. I was talking to my dad and I was just like, um, let me just name them Fawn and Dawn because that works. So after she puts Dawn down, this is Dawn. I'm gonna age them up and see what genetics they have. And right now Dawn is hungry. So I'm gonna have her feed a little Dawn really quick. Now, I'm gonna have to do some really, really important renovations because we do not have enough room for these babies. Um, we have like no room and that's a bad thing. Right now, Tucker is downstairs in Lucas's arms. Today is actually Lucas's birthday, and for his birthday present, he had two little girls. My mouth hurts really bad. I have a freaking sore in my mouth, and these things are, are like, they just occur out of nowhere. If you eat, like, spicy foods or citrus, or you bite your tongue, I think I bit my tongue. As so many times you get, like, a sore, and it hurts so bad. And that's another reason I haven't recorded, but I decided that I was going to record today because this is what happened. So I'm going to put John on the floor, and really quickly we're going to age the little baby up to see what her genetics are. So I'm going to do what I did when a uh, little Tucker was born, and I'm going to move away until she ages up. And now if she doesn't have the perfect genetics, that's okay, because we do indeed have her sister, Fawn, and... She'll be our next option. So, um, okay, why is he crying now? Lucas, are you aging up? No, she just her later. What's wrong with him? He needs a diaper change. So she aged up, and let's see what she looks like. Wrong baby. She has black hair. Oh, of course she does. Okay, um, so Dawn Morrison aged up. She has black hair. But what color are little Dawn's eyes? They're pink. Uh, of course they are. Hopefully the other one has blue pink eyes as well. Lucas. Okay. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. Until they're done taking care of the boy. You know, I'm just gonna help him. He's aging up. Let me help him a little bit. Okay, so let's age up the other kid. Trigger age transition. Did I not do it? Are they all too occupied to keep? No, she's coming. I get it, Fawn. You're Dawn. That's Dawn. Okay. Hold up. It'll be easier to tell them apart once they age up. But for now, Fawn has, I mean, Dawn has, like, pink eyes and black hair. She looks just like her sister. Um, if you guys see her eyes, they're all the way pink, and that's because of some custom content that I have. Oh, Lucas is having a midnight life crisis. Let's move away until, wait until she ages up. Oops, not her. Oops. Okay. I think she aged up twice. When do they age up? Four days. One day. You, little miss, can go upstairs and go to bed. You. Better leave that kid alone. Okay. 
put chip flick here too. No, no. Ah, oh, this is so disappointing. Ah, uh, both twins. And this one is has brown eyes too. So wow. Lucas, your jeans are strong. Damn, I was so excited to have like her be the perfect genetics. She was closer than um Fawn was. So yeah, um, Tucker's tired, so I'm gonna have you put Tucker in his crib. Yeah, put Dawn down. Lucas, stop reading your kid to sleep and put Florian in his crib. I'm going to have to do some renovations off camera. So, and, um, do their makeover, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, and, um, it's been like a month literally since I recorded that first part and I'm sorry for that um just been quite busy to be honest well not necessarily busy just I've been doing things that are very important and can't really slack off on these few things so I'm going to wake up the kids it is indeed their birthdays well at least Florian Leatrice's so I'm not gonna send Leatrice to school just because it's his birthday and I um I kind of want to age him up. So I'm going to have him eat some, well, I'm going to have him have a quick meal of cereal really quickly. And I'm going to buy a birthday cake. So what I did off camera is I did um, give the twins their makeovers. I also got the inheritance points in order to, well, I got the inheritance with uh, Lucas's, um, left him awards in order to um like how do I say this? Um in order to gosh she's not coming out get some more simoleons. So that's one thing that I did. I um did that. Oh what did I get cake? Okay, I'm gonna blow out his candles. Uh the actress person come blow out your candles buddy um, your sister needs to actually do some stuff, so she needs to get up. I have yet to buy the twins, Fawn and Dawn. I have yet to buy them their, uh, actual cribs. I got these cheap cribs that I got with this town, um, Praven or something like that. Or Praven, which is a medieval town, and it came with all this medieval stuff, which is really cool. Um, which is kind of a hint on what my next LP is going to be once um, I end the first season of 100 Baby Challenge. If I do another season, then yeah, because I feel like people liked um, this LP better than they liked the other. So I'm gonna have Lee after us blow out his candles. Um, Lucas cannot watch his son; he has to go to work. So you use the toilet, then go to work. You do not distract yourself with the birthday party. You have to go to school. So have a blue Mary Muffin. This is what happens when your sims disobey you. You. Hey, I know you want to watch your sunny job, but you have to go to work. And you can, uh, meet your co-workers. Is it me, or is that just really loud? I don't think it's that loud, but it's really loud. Um, tell me in the comments down below if the volume is bothering any of you, because I will fix it. I definitely will fix it. So he got the brooding trait, which is, you know, evident. Uh, so let's see what he looks like. Um, you know, it doesn't look bad. He looks like Lucas. I can see Lucas in him, but at the same time, if you look closely, you can kind of see that he looks a little bit like um, Iris as well. So he he's a good-looking boy. He's a good-looking boy. Um, so I'm gonna have Miss her little. Santhamum here, forgot her name. She has to go to school. Like now. So 
You little miss can go to school. You smell bad. Um, really quickly, I'm gonna take... No, you don't have to go to school. You don't have to go to school. You're no longer a child. You're in high school. I'm gonna take him into Master Controller in the uh, stylus to do his makeover. Now, this is moving real slow. Hopefully it doesn't take that long to load. Okay, and I finished his makeover. Um, if he could turn around, I would show you. So, I just gave him this short hair, which I really like. Um, I got it from this person. Now <laughs> yeah, that helps. Um, they made a Kaneki Ken Kudasim, and they sent me their folder with all his content in it, and it came with that, so I don't know where I got it. I, it was a link that was sent to me, so... Yeah. Um... Right now, I have to go take care of the babies, which is great because guess who's here to help? You. So, I'm going to have him come and use the toilet and um, come and get some of the babies, or at least help with some of the babies, before we can um, do this. So, I'm going to let her eat this blueberry muffin. You do not need cake. This is actually really bad. I don't know if I want her to eat that muffin now. Come on. I almost called him Kaneki, the actress. Um, you need to go do that. And then come get some of the babies who are gonna wake up soon. So, yeah, you gotta do that. Oh no! Repo man! Mother... Fuck. The repo man's coming. I try to avoid that guy as much as possible. What is he gonna take? He's gonna take something, which I don't really care. We have money to afford to replace it right now. But it's still... I need you to come upstairs and help the actress with the kids, so... He's not the only one doing so. Oh. I also... Um, got another bed in here. I don't know why it glitches out like that. But I got another bed in here for when Florian ages up and he'll have some place to sleep. So yeah. That's that. Um, what did you do? So talk to your dad. Which twin is this? What's the twin? Welcome to Toddler Hell, because this is literally what this is. We have four freaking toddlers. I wonder how this is probably what it's like to have quads <laughs> in this game. I really need to buy them another crib. Um, or at least build another nursery. So what's wrong with Floor? Oh wow, he, he- this is like the best toddler that I've had. But I'm gonna age him up. So, let me, um, put testing cheats enabled on for I can age him up. And, um, see if I spelled all that right? I did, great. Um, but yeah, I haven't been recording lately and th there's not necessarily a reason to that. One thing is that the games, um, both, um, both The Sims 4 and The Sims 3 have been giving me problems. I'm not sure if it's my laptop, but every time I try to play The Sims 4, um, the game, like, glitches out and it gives me, like, a white screen and I can't see anything. Now, it's kind of like the white screen that I, um, friends get if I have the game open and they don't know what they're seeing because they can't see my game when I don't have it in window mode, and that's kind of what I'm getting in. I don't know if putting this game in window mode will fix anything, but hopefully it will and then I'll be able to So I did. Also another thing that I did is I actually made a second channel. Um, it's my vlog channel. 
I put one video up there and it's really bad quality. I played Would You Rather with some friends on Skype and um, I didn't have headphones at the time, if you know, when you use headphones for Skype um, for there won't be an echo with their voices and there was a really bad echo. Oh, I got scared. I was wondering what that noise was. But it's the goddamn Repo Man. You know what? And a dog. Repo Man and a stray dog. You know, Mr. Repo Man who looks like a glitch piece of turd. Oh. You glitch turd. Yeah. Oh, wait. He looks scary. Oh. My. Word. I do not want this in my house. Look at his eyes. He has those demon eyes that I downloaded. Well, not necessarily demon, but... They sure look demonic. He looks like a smurf. But he's not a smurf. He looks like a smurf. Now my sims are going to be all sad because their stuff is getting taken and now I have to deal with that. Thank you, Mr. Repo Man, for ruining my sims' lives. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, have him help his mother take care of the babies. We took care of three of them. Come get baby number four and take care of her. This one is Dawn. Come get Dawn. No! Why would you be such an evil prick and take our son's bed? Why? You, sir. Mm, nerds to you. Fucking nerds to you. So he got the artistic trait, and um, let's see what this one looks like. I I thought he was the cutest one. His head's being cut off. You can see the floor through his neck. He's cross-eyed like every kid. But I, I I thought he was the cutest one that we had. No. Yeah, besides Tucker, at least. Take care of the kid first. Florian. Oh, I feel like he has, like, huge ears. Oh, that's cute. Big ears. What I probably do is, um... She's hungry and she has a dirty diaper, so um, yeah. Change her diaper and the other floor. So I started listening to this, which is really random. I started listening to this band or whatever you want to call them, called the Cab, and I think they're awesome. What's wrong with you now, kiddo? I'm gonna have your big brother bring you downstairs where you can play with some toys. Yes. So why don't you pick her up and bring her downstairs where she can. Um, I don't know. Relax a little bit. Um, Florian's coming downstairs to eat something. Well, weren't you gonna get up? Use the toilet. And then clean it, why not? What are your traits, by the way? You're good, artistic, and friendly. Oh, it's like. No! Stop stealing our stuff! Get out of my house! I'm like five minutes away from control. Oh, you're gonna steal. This bed took me forever, forever, to edit, you stupid prick. Now I have to buy them a new bed. I hate you. I, I hate you. You're on our hit list. What's your name again? Nicholas? Nicholas, um, Sample? Yeah. Yeah. I hope one of my kids remembers your effing face with your creepy cat eyes. Oh, yeah. I fucking hate him. Oh, no, he took a lamp. Okay. You have fun with that lamp. I hope that lamp gives you the best of life. Um, oh, uh, you guys forgot Tuck. The baby that I actually love. You forgot Tuck. Um, click on the curtain. Why don't you come get Tuck and bring him downstairs? So, pick up Tucker. How would you put Fawn down? And then you can eat some leftover birthday cake. No fun. Are you still stealing our stuff? Oh. I was gonna say, I want you out. Play with blocks. Dawn, come play with blocks. Um. You, Mr. 
out of my house. Stop stealing my stuff. Oh, wait. I don't even know what he took. Oh, he took the painting off my wall. No, he didn't. I didn't. Okay. I'm so confused. I have no idea what he's taking anymore, so. How about you? Wait, I've had three babies before at once. It's not that bad. Not as much as when you have like seven. Are you still taking stuff? Is this some kind of glitch? Oh, now you're taking a potty chair. Really? Can I, like, delete him? Because now he's just being unnecessary and taking a lot of stuff that he doesn't need to be taking. Yeah. He's, like, glitch or something. Bye. Just bye. He stole, like, three things out of our house already. Um... You, why don't you come eat some birthday cake as well? Um, when does Chrysanthemum age up? She ages up in three days, which is pretty exciting. I want to see her when she's a teenager, but she's really adorable. Um, you, when Lucas comes home, you have to. Oh, wait, you age up in one day. Should I try for a baby right now? I kind of want her and Lucas to get married. Alright, before that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her and Lucas age up. Not age up, well, Lucas is already aged up. Her and Lucas try for a baby, and then when she has the baby, I will make sure that she ages up, and then when she's an adult, we'll have Lucas and propose to her. So that's what we'll do. So this is like a course of two parts, maybe, and then other than a cute little wedding, what we really need to do is make some friends. Oh wait, Lucas has lots of friends. And his ex-girlfriend. But yeah, he has lots of friends. Um, I kind of want him to be friends with this Alfonso guy. He met him today. Oh, he's- oh, no, I don't want to be friends with a celebrity. Um, he could be friends with his ex and invite her over. And then she could be, like, best friends with, um, Iris. Because Iris needs some friends. She literally has not left this house at all to meet anyone. All she knows is her kids and this guy. Which actually is the guy that stole all her stuff. And the babysitter. No, that's- yeah, she knows no one. So what am I actually going to have her do? Oh wait, we have to- no, he's a teenager. Yes! Thank you for teenagers. And I'm going to have her leave and go out somewhere. Maybe pamper herself, because she like never, ever does something for herself. So I kind of want her to go like to the day spa. And she's going to go get a massage. Um, she's going to go get a relaxing shiatsu. And then a facial. She get a mud facial. And then... She's gonna go get a manicure, pedicure, soak, and a soak. So, yeah, I'm gonna have her, like, treat herself to a nice day out, like, away from her kids. Because I bet that's all she wants is one day away from her kids. Especially since she has six of them. With more on the way. And, yeah, so... You, Miss Iris, go pamper yourself with... Oh, you're not home. Neither is chrysanthemum. So Leatrice, you're going to be babysitting. Which, you know, isn't a bad thing. I am going to have to do his... I'm going to do his um, makeover later. Because it's not really necessary right now. So yeah, Iris. Okay, there is Miss Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum, why don't you not play with your toy, but do your homework. Um... Yeah, so Iris is going to go do that. I kind of want to give her a little bit of a makeover, but I'm just going to wait until she ages up because why give her a makeover if she's just going to have it for like one day. Um, yeah. So Florian, are you done eating? You're kind of waiting. Oh wow, you're tired. Um, yeah. Why don't you go shower? I really need to replace some of the stuff in this house. And then you can go straight to bed. I mean, the worst that can happen is they get hungry and your dad's home, so that's fine. Um, he's just tired, so I'm gonna have him. Well, he, he needs a little bit of fun. Uh, he's going through a midlife crisis right now, so yeah, you would expect him to be a little tired. So he's gonna go watch some TV. TV 
to get his fun up. He probably had a stressful day at work, but he's making us some decent amount of money. Um, which you need to find out what I'm going to do with all this money. I might just buy us a new house. So if we have a new house in the next part, that's why. I'm thinking of making this LP in a different town as well. Yes. Um, you, my sir, why don't you come use this easel that your mother never uses anymore? And paint a small painting. Um, she is artistic, right? She is, and she has a level 4, I think, painting skill. Yeah. Are you really that tired that you're not gonna even... Oh. You can go to bed if you really want to. Um... And after Iris is done with her nice day spa... Um, are you at the bistro? I kind of want to go somewhere different. Where's the diner? Oh, it's on our side, actually. Yeah, it's on our side. I'm gonna send her to the diner. So yeah, she's just gonna... gonna do that. You, sir, can go to sleep. You are painting, you are doing your homework, and someone still needs to clean out the fridge. Yeah. It would be well needed. Um, play dominoes. Can kids even play dominoes? We don't have really room to put a dominoes table. I mean, we have this pathetic looking house that I've been building onto, which I so I didn't turn off the zombie. Yep. That happens all the time. I always forget to turn off the full moon. Ugh, always. I got a text from Katie. Okay. <clears throat> um, so yeah, let me turn that off before people turn it to zombies and they won't be able to turn back because I have the zombie bot which keeps humans as zombies for as long as I please. Forever. As long as I please. And I did that for the zombie apocalypse. Which would, because um, I thought it would suck if they had to turn back to humans and like, always forget that Iris is not here. This is gonna happen a lot. I always forget that sometimes my sims are out and yeah, so. I'm gonna have Lucas sleep for a few hours till his energy gets up. Um, you wanna enroll Florian in boarding school? I'm gonna save that because I'm gonna think about it. Um, there's no rule against sending your children off to boarding school, which you know is cruel. Why would you do that to a child? But there's no rule against it, and I don't know. Well, this isn't generations. I'm going to be doing generations LP eventually. So, maybe I'll just save that aspect for that LP and not do it now. Not that I mind. Getting rid of one kid is, you know, not gonna hurt the rest. No action save us, so. If she could send, like, them off to boarding daycare, and maybe we'd have less toddlers to deal with. But after she's done with that, she's gonna go upstairs and go to bed. Um, still need someone to come take care of the toddlers when they get, like, dirty diapers and stuff. What does Tucker age up? He ages up in three days. So she finished one of her spas. Go shower and then I'll let you go to sleep. Lucas... Slowly recovering. I'm gonna wake him up really quickly before he can clean out the bad food because it's kind of bothering me that's that's still dirty. I still have these lights from when I was making the thumbnail. <laughs> I never delete them. They're really good lights. Really annoying lights, but really good lights. Child. Shh. Oopsie. 
Thank God I did wake up Lucas because the kids are getting stinky. And the girls, at least, are getting stinky, so... You can come change your dirty diaper. What else is wrong with her? She just has a dirty diaper. Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have bought them cribs. Better cribs. Actual, like, functioning cribs. Yeah. That would have been a thing that I should have done just now. Why is my game- uh, I have to fix something. I have to fix something. It's laggier than usual. It's like, rendering slowly and stuff. So let's sell these <laughs> one simoleon cribs and actually get something. For these children. Um, let's see. Oh, I only need one, because Florian's not a baby anymore. Yeah. So... Yes. yes. So guys, I'm going to end this part right here. I hope you enjoyed. In the next part, I said that um, we will probably, I will probably try for a baby off camera and she'll be pregnant in the next part and we will probably um, get them engaged at least and then we'll get them married in the next, in the part after that and we'll see where it goes from there. So don't forget to comment and subscribe and give me baby names. I broke the rule of flower names as you can see. I named them Fawn and Dawn and Tucker. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye!